So today's June 15th, we all know that uh, Girls Talk Boys came out today, part on iTunes, and Five Sauce is playing Madison Square Garden, sold out. Ah! Anyways, so I was watching a periscope of someone live streaming it, and then I closed it out, ate dinner, and I came back and I opened it up to see what they were doing, you know? And Jet Black Heart was playing, and I was like, I was not ready for this. Hi, I'm Andrew, with a video of mine. So I didn't really have an idea for this video until yesterday night, and it's Friday night at 8 at night, and I never do this, ever. But I have this idea and I was kind of hesitant about making it because I was like, I don't want to get like serious and deep because I kind of did that last week, but I'm doing it again today, sorta. Okay, I can't really be a serious person because I'm not, but I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm not going to tell you what I'm, you can tell by the title. And let's just go, okay? Side note, I've never actually made a video in my room, so welcome. I say this thing a lot, and if you watch my vlog, link in the description below, um, you know that I say this, and when I say this, my friends are typically like, Angie, shut up, you're annoying, how dare you be optimistic? But I say this thing a lot, and I say, wow, it's a great day to be alive! Now I'm not trying to be fake about it, like I'm not trying to fake happiness or giddiness or whatever, but like for real Z, wow did I just say that? For real, I like think, wow, like it's a good day, I'm alive, I'm here, it's a great day to be alive. I don't have a lot of worries in my life because I'm healthy, I have food on my plate every night, I have loving parents, I get to go to college, I have a good set of friends, and I'm like, I don't have anything to worry about so it's still just... It's a great day to be alive. I'm not gonna let somebody ruin my day. In this world today, we bring a lot of people down. So if we brought people up, then they might think the same thing that I do. And I get that not every day is gonna be a great day. You know, sometimes you're sad and it's okay to be sad. What I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't dwell on the sadness. I mean, focus on sadness sometimes, but then move on and try to find happiness. If you wake up maybe in a bad mood or something's going on, just look at the bright side of what has happened already today by just, you know, waking up and realizing some stuff. First off, you're alive, you didn't die in the night, so like you're like, wow, another day on this earth, what can I do with my day? Let's start off maybe being in a good mood. I think we shouldn't complain about the stuff that we should be grateful for. Now I relate to this one a lot because like I'm into exercising and all that, but like I don't like exercising. I like how I feel after I exercise and that's the only way I do it, you know? But the whole buildup of like, ugh, I gotta get motivated. <laughs> and like you're just dreading the process and you're like, I'm like, I don't wanna run today. But then I realized to myself, Angie, you have legs that move. Some people aren't born with legs, some people are paralyzed, some people can't move. And like, just be grateful that you're able to run, you know? Maybe you don't enjoy it, but still be grateful about it. Maybe you're dreading to go to work the next day because you have a lot of work to get done, you have meetings, you have all this stuff. But you should just think, you know, I'm alive, I'm here, I can make money to support me and possibly if you have a family, you know? Another thing is that a lot of kids my age and just in general, waking up early is not a fun thing to do. I would wake up at 6 a.m. every morning for school for a long time, you know? And a lot of people do the same thing and they, they're like, oh, I hate school, I hate everybody at school, I hate my teachers. But I'm saying you should be grateful that you get to get an education and you're not in like a third world country or something like that where you can't get an education. So you should be grateful that like you can go to school and you're around these people to teach you. It may not be the best experience, but you, you're smart, I guess. And like we wake up and we're like, oh, I don't want to do anything today. But like we're able to do something, you know, we don't have like a terminal illness that keeps us in bed. But what I'm trying to say is that you should be grateful about the little things, you know? So. I have this list down here that I'm reading from because I plan out my videos. I skipped some of that, I jumble it around, and I'm like, does this even make sense? I don't really know. So I just have one last thought of what I say and why I say this. You know, I say, it's a great day to be alive. I'm a very optimistic person. It may be hard for some people to do that because they're not optimistic. You know, and another thing is that people don't realize what they have until it's gone. My last thought is, you know, a lot of people don't know what they have until it's gone. Like their health, maybe money, maybe friends, family, pet, I don't know. And so they don't realize it, but I'm telling you that you should be grateful in that you should just cherish every day that you get because you don't know if you're gonna wake up the next morning. So just remember, it's a great day to be alive. And that was my garage. And that is all for this week's video. I hope you have an awesome, 
Friday night <laughs> party hardy, I guess. If you like what you saw, give it a like. If you want to subscribe, it's free. I make new videos on this channel every Friday, and I have a vlog channel, link in the description below, where I almost daily vlog, but not quite there. So I will see you guys next Friday with a brand new video. Bye! Girls talk boys, am I right, ladies?